Welcome back to another episode of Black Caution. I am Joshua Washington, and as always, I want to invite you all to participate in this real conversation that the fellas are having, all right? So with no further ado, let's get into it. Black Caution. Welcome back, welcome back. We are continuing the conversation. That last episode was awesome, man. That, that was great. Um, and for this episode, let me tell y'all something. The ladies, they showed up. They showed up in a major way. We didn't get to all their questions last time. And so I've convinced the fellas <laughs> to allow me to let the ladies ask some more questions, some of these tough questions, because they're not easy. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to go back, and uh, Ro actually had another question that I wanted y'all to answer. All right, so Ro, what's your question for us? What are some areas that black women do not support black men enough in and what can we do to help? We want to start now. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah. I, I, I looked up. Yeah, what, what is an area that black women can support y'all in more? And women in general, we won't, we won't, we won't close it down, but. Business. Yes. Wait, wait, wait a minute, why are you? <laughs> business, 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 business. Um, and I say that because being in the, the industry I'm in, it's not common. Um, and it being not common, it's hard for a female to support you and what you do hmm. because it's not traditional. My God. Okay, tell us more. So I'm a professional network marketer, right? And when they hear about that industry, it's a big turnoff because they don't, they're not educated in that field. They automatically think it's one of those little pyramid things, Blase Squadre, and that just turns them off. But if they understood the business aspect of it and just having a, a support, a female support system, it just makes a man go so much harder. Not even, I, I would say support in a way of, go ahead, baby, keep going. I got you. Just that kind of support would make a man drive through a wall instead of, oh, you, you still doing that? Mm. Oh, okay. That's where you spend all your time at? So business in general, just to be able to come home and have a conversation like, hey, babe, Hey, I see what you're doing. Keep going. I love you. That like right encouragement there. piece. That's it. Mainly a cheerleader. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's all I need. I, you, being you a, got, for playing sports, I just want somebody to say, hey, go, Ron. Yeah. Go. You don't that's have to it. put the skirt and the pom-poms on. No. Yeah. I, got, I, I already got enough stress inside the business anyway. You should be that comfort zone. Word of encouragement. That's it. Just to help push through. Absolutely. I definitely say business. Now, if it's ignorant... Now, I'm not telling you to cheer on ignorance. <laughs> I'm not telling you to cheer on outright ignorance. Yeah. But if he has a vision and he strongly has faith behind it and he's pushing and grinding, it's not going to be microwaves. It's going to be oven and stove top. It's going to be cooked slow. Yeah. It's going to be baked slow real good. And it's going to be real tender. And in, at the end, it's going to on, and it's gonna be real good for you. It's gonna, Come on, Chef. I'm in hunger, bro. Oh, I, I've been in that. Listen, I like that. Wait, wait. So wait, like what, what, what's ignorant, though? You mean I can't, I can't start like a... Okay, I, a hula hoop dancing uh, company. Or I, I, okay, I won't say ignorant. Illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah, that, that, that people <laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> Because ignorance to me may be not, may not be ignorant to somebody else. So okay. I just say anything that's illegal. So you, if, if right. it's illegal, that's, that's gonna put, yes. Don't support everybody. But uh, everybody up here said business. Yeah, yeah. That's that's uh, interesting. No, it, it's it's big because she wants the house. Uh -oh. She wants the life. Mm. I'm going to move my chair over this way. When you she start wants all these things, <laughs> but she don't understand that she has to compensate that time for what she wants. Amen. Or the, the point of not understanding the, the compensation that it takes on our behalf to make those things come to life. Like, you, you want all this stuff, but you don't realize 
I mean, that means I'm gonna have to get this working. That mean yeah. that may mean sacrificing a little bit of time. Yeah. Uh, uh, together. Man, like I told you on the call, Dub, it took three years of me being broke mm. to where I am today. Mm. My first two years, I had to fight. I had to fight. And when I say fight, not aggressively. I, I mean, I had to use. Yeah, we gonna call the police. I, I, I had to help manage the thoughts of my wife to understand the longevity and dreams that it takes to become where we are. And I think women don't understand. Women today, let me just say this. Women today, I'm going to put it out there. Y'all, want, you want to feel some type of way? Uh -oh. Put it in the comment. Here oh, we go. Ooh. So we can talk about it next okay. episode. I didn't but say nothing. I'm I not think with, women I'm not today. <laughs> I think, go by myself. Yo, yo, I think women today don't have what it takes to be behind a man that is successful pursuing the dream that makes sense to his identity. Ooh. Okay, we got to unpack that. So, wait, 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 hold on. That's what I said. That's what I said. He got Trey it. Trey Song was the only one talking about diving in deep. I'm talking about I'm getting ready to dive oh, deep oh, in this. Oh, oh. Okay? So, <laughs> I'm here it, it is, though. Here it is. See, you got women who've been messing around with men that have, how do I, how do I say this? It's not a manufactured dream. Mm. Right? So, when they used to all these, when they see social media and all this stuff, that is, that's not a manufactured dream. It didn't come from the place of who they are. When you find a man who is consistent in all of their ways, who is consistent in preparing, consistent in communication, consistent in the faith, consistent in hitting those goals, then you know that dream that he's pursuing is going to solidify the business that's going to bring the wealth to the family. But most women can't handle that type of level of cooking. But you just you said you genuinely, genuinely believe that that's, that represents the majority of women. They can't handle... If that's y'all. They, they want that microwave. Nah, it's, it's, they, it, want, they want bro, the microwave. This, this, I want that microwave. They, they want this, the instant. That instant. They want microwave. Um, but then again, I think it goes back to a man. And and I had this conversation with a few people. And the conversation with a man and a female, it's it's kind of different because I don't think you should have to ask permission to provide for your family. Mm, God dog. Mm. Say that one more time. Come on, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what, what you mean by that. If if there's something that you want to do and that you have your mindset on it i don't think you you should have to ask your your, your significant other as long as you're not putting your, your your family in harm you shouldn't have to i don't want to say it in the wrong way so you guys may misinterpret it i don't think you should have to fight is what it is exactly yeah fight with your significant other to provide for your family i think that's that's your duties to put your your family first and, and get them to that next level so I, I shouldn't have to ask my wife permission to provide for you wow like i'm, I'm going to do it I'm, I'm going to make sure i do it the right way but i don't want to have to argue and fight with you about this like i'm doing this for us i'm doing this for the generations to come our kids and their kids and their kids like you're setting the table up for everybody to be beneficial off this so there just like you were talking about there may be not as much time as she expect there there may be not you no know, dates going on and stuff like that but i'm preparing for a season to where we are totally free yeah. yeah, we, we can, can do, do whatever, whatever we want to do. do. Yeah, whenever, however, we're good. But most females aren't willing to sacrifice that time in the beginning because they want all that time now. Hey, I need you home. I need you with the kids. I need this, this, and that. That sacrifice isn't understood because God gave you the vision. She didn't give her the vision. So while you're on that journey, she doesn't understand why you're always gone and why you're always here and there because she wasn't given that vision. You are. You have it. So that's why you keep pushing, and that's why you have to tell. Hey, look. Hey, I don't have to ask permission for this because I'm going to set us up. So, yeah, I want to throw this to the comments real quick. I want to know if you all agree, and I'm specifically speaking to the men, because Ramsey dropped the bomb saying that the majority of women they 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 can't really they're not there. They ain't willing to to really support like that. they really really support like that. And sound like a lot of y'all have either experienced or you agree to the majority of degree. And I gotta say to your point, Ron. I think a part, a, a major part of it is the lack of understanding because we're built that way. We are built to think generationally. We're built to think, okay, we just got this, but I got to think about this other thing and this other thing. And it is hard when you feel like you got to fight your partner. It ain't. We ain't talking about like your enemy. Yeah, you gotta. We talking about the one that got the same jersey you got on. Yeah. <laughs> when you, when you passing the, the ball, you expect yeah. me to shoot, not to throw same, that thing out of bounds. With you, the same name on the back. But the yeah. same yeah. name Hello. on the back. You bro. should. You should never have to try to defend your legacy. Mm. You should never have to do that if you communicate to that person 
That's it. Constantly on the vision. Okay, that's the piece. That's though. It. Is that the piece that's missing? That's it. No. But, are we but, are we not communicating enough? There's two things. Not effectively. There's, effectively. There's two things I've applied it in my marriage to see how my wife have become the wife she is today. When I realized that the vision was in my hands. I prayed and asked God to show her the vision that he gave me because mm. he's responsible for her. Right. And the second thing I did was I gave her the proper blueprint. Right. On how to build a home while I'm out trying to find concrete to give her to build the home. And I think most men don't properly give the right found the right blueprint to building the home for a woman. So, of course, she's going to question what you're bringing home because you bringing sticks when you should be bringing bricks. Mm. Okay, bro. Put that but, on Twitter, all right? I want y'all to, I want y'all to immediately but, go yeah. post that. But you bring, bring you bring sticks, sticks when you should be bringing, bringing bricks. bricks. <laughs> bro, you got to try to get all these little. But I'm, I'm just saying that that was what I applied it in my marriage to help my wife get to where we are together today. Okay, but let's get practical, all right? So the communication piece I want y'all to hit on because mm -hmm. you all, I think we all agree that's something that you mentioned effective communication. So I'm gonna start with you, T. What are we missing in that communication piece that, that's probably causing us to really ignite some of that fighting? Uh, what, what's missing in that communication? What's missing in the communication is sometimes us as men, we make irrational decisions. And like he said, being able to answer, but sometimes it's not answering. It's actually, you know, just informing. Informing the move that I'm going to make. Informing her on how I'm going to make this move and what I think is going to make us you know, move forward and how it's going to help us move forward. Informing. Informing. So inform, informing, active communication, informing communication, and being, um, yeah. Informing. Okay, you just threw those out there like we know what that is. Can you explain what's the difference between active communication and like, what, what do you mean? What, what, are, what is that? All right, so when you've been active and you're communicating, you're actively involving the person in, in what's going on. So you're actively making sure that person moving the way you're moving. You're actually moving how you say you're going to move. And you're informing the person, you're just keeping them on track on everything that you're doing. But how do I balance that, though, when I feel like I'm moving and things are, are going in the right direction, right? How do I balance that out to know when you need me to remind you of the plan? Because I feel like, a lot, I know a lot of men feel like, this. I told you the plan once, I should only have to tell you once. Nah, they need reassurance. Women need that. Okay, so tell me more. What's some ways that, that, what are some ways to do that? Some ways, like some ways to reassure her, to show progress, the progression of what we're doing. And if you are digressing, show her, hey, how you can bounce back from what you lost. Hmm. If that that's, makes that's sense. Huge. I like that. That's, that's, that's a failure piece, though. Yeah, so cause we don't want to admit our failures. Not at all. We, we, men we men have small there, egos. We want to sit there and hide that, and we don't want to take losses. We try to get rid of those losses as, as, many, as, as good as we possibly can. That's true. That's true. What y'all um, I would just say... Stop being emotional. Stop trying to protect the dream and share the dream. Mm. You know, um, you're talking to the men. Yeah. Uh -huh. Stop trying to because most men, we get so emotional. We're so passionate about the dream that we feel like we need to protect it when, when our wife disagree. And that and we say is dis disagreement because we because we're emotional about our dream. But if they're just asking a question to see how they can help and we share the dream then it gives them the opportunity to be a part of the dream. It's like being a part of a movie, right? She wants to know that she is a part of the very thing that she sees you believing in. Mm. And if she doesn't feel like you're allowing her to be a part of it and she be disconnected, guess what's going to happen to that communication? No matter what you share, she's always going to have a better heart because you, were never, you never set things from the beginning as far as sharing that dream. I learned the hard way. I have to share my dream with my wife so she can see where I am, where I'm going, and how far I want to go. Because God forbid something happens and that dream is bringing in revenue. She got to know how to continue that dream. It's a legacy builder. It's not a, a, a success builder, right? We're born success, but it's a legacy. Legacy means you, 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 you are preparing something for the future that's going to benefit those behind you. So for me, it's all about stop being emotional about the dream. Stop trying to protect your dream all because your wife may not agree with you in that season when she's trying to bring an awareness to you saying, hey, put me in your dream. Show me what you have and show me what we can do together to propel this dream into the next, the, the next dimension or, or the next phase of, 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 of that, that, that success. That's real.
I like that. Then, you know, I, I got so lost in this question. I forgot we're supposed to be doing videos from, from, from <laughs> questions from the ladies. So excuse me, ladies. I'm sorry. That one, that one hit a chord in our <laughs> business. Be, 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 a part, be a part of the business, ladies. <laughs> that, that's it. To answer your that question, be bro, be on the team. We, we all got the same jersey on, so be on the team. All right. Yeah. I want to get one of these in from, from my girl, Courtney, who uh, was so gracious to give us a question. So Courtney, what's your question? As a man, how do you define success? Is it wealth? Is it the number of jobs that you have? Is it the number of women you have hanging off your arms? So simply, how many people love you? Tell me, how do you define success? Success for me is how many people's lives I positively impact before I call it quits. That's success for me, you know, just helping people see um, the greater them. And I think that's, that's, that's successful for me. Success for me is relationship. Um, I value relationship more than anything. I don't care how much money you have. Um, money only amplifies what's already been in your heart, right? But relationship sustains uh, uh, seasons in your life where I remember I was going through something and, and, and I called uh, my best friend, Josh, and you know, he gave me wisdom, right? That's relationship. Wisdom costs, it costs more than money, right? Because it's, it's like fresh manna. You need something in your season today that's going to help elevate you in your perspective on whatever you're dealing with. So for me, when I think of relationship, that is success. I mean, you are able to find the best version of yourself through words and actions of other people that believes in you and who love you and choose you in, in, as who you are. So that's how I view success. How about you, T? <clears throat> I view success mainly within I'll give somebody some type of information they apply it to themselves. That's being successful to me. Like saying some, giving you something that you didn't know of, and I gave I fed into you and gave you that knowledge, and you applied it, and it was successful. So that's 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 success to me. Like all that other stuff, materialistic things, don't really matter. Um, I grew up without it, so I can I can manage without it, yeah. and I can get it off the muscle. So for the most part, me giving someone information, them applying it, and being successful and it working. And if it don't work, for them to come back to me and we try to figure it out together, that's success to me. That's good. I like it. I, and, I, and I'll say this to that question, and I think it's kind of been the same kind of theme for all of us. Success, I'd like to say we all really determine it by value, man. What kind of, well, how much value we are adding to the lives of other people. And it wasn't always that way for me. I used to, to, to defi define success by material gain or notoriety or, you know, even fame at one point when we were trying to, you know, doing our, the whole music thing. Um, but to this day, my life changed when I realized the real success is when you can add value, man. When you realize your value, so I, I'd say two part. Real success to me is realizing and becoming aware of your value for me and then being able to know how to give that value to others. I yeah. think that for me is what makes a life successful. All right. So ladies, again, I really appreciate, really appreciate those questions. I don't even think we got to all of them, but we're going to keep them handy just in case we can get to them uh, some more down the road. But thank you. Thank you for sending those in. And I hope you got some value out of the responses from these men who have been honest and real. And so we'll catch you on the next one, man, for more real conversation, real men. Uh, this is Black Caution. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, listen, thank you so much for watching. Before you leave, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss an episode. We want you to participate in this real conversation, all right? So we'll see you next time. Black Caution. <laughs>